So no matter what kind of business you're running, you have to make offers. And the more you want to grow your business, the more irresistible your offer needs to be. So in the book, The Irresistible Offer, Mark Joyner talks about the different ways in which you can create an offer so irresistible that people will just buy from you. So in this video, I wanna give you 10 ways to intensify your offer, to make your offer even more irresistible. All right, let's jump into the 10 ways. The first of the many ways to intensify your offer is to create urgency. You have to create urgency to get people to take action, to make a decision right now, rather than wait for a later time. If there is no urgency, people will sit on decisions and they will wait and wait and wait, and they may never buy from you. So you can use urgency if it's, if it's part of your offer or product, or you can create urgency by creating an expiring offer or tell them that the cart is closing and the product sales are closing, there is a deadline, or maybe there are some expiring bonuses that expire or the price goes up after a certain time. Whatever you do, you can always create urgency to get people to take action and make a decision right now. The second way to think about intensifying your offer is to add value to your offer. Now, this is something that's best done as part of your closing where you add bonuses to increase the perceived value in the mind of the buyer. You see, the golden rule of bonus is don't give away anything as a bonus that you wouldn't be able to sell normally. So create some high value bonuses and stack them in order to create the value perception in the mind of the buyer so they are even more interested in buying your offer. Okay, the next way to intensify your offer is risk reversal. Think of the one of the most irresistible offers that literally launched a multi-billion dollar business, Domino's. Domino's made the offer. Heartbeats, heartbeats are delivered in 30 minutes or less, or it's free. I mean, they literally took away all the risk from the mind of the buyer. If we don't deliver the pizza in 30 minutes, it's free. So you have to ask yourself, how can you take away the risk from the buyer? Maybe you can offer a money back guarantee. At 2000 books, some of our products have a 180 day money back guarantee. And the reason for that is because that we know that if you use the product, you will love it, you will get results from it. So we wanna give you long periods of time to be able to try the product and get the results from it. And you have to figure out what is the kind of risk reversal, risk reversal or guarantee you can create for your offer in order to intensify your offer. Okay, the fourth way to create intensity for your offer is scarcity. You see, people have a fear of loss. If the prospect feels that they will lose out on some portion of the offer, if they don't act now, they are much more likely to buy. So you can also have scarcity on the number of clients you can take if you have a business that limits the number of clients. Or think of the fast food restaurants that have limited time food offerings, or even think of all the sales that are run during Christmas or New Year's or Thanksgiving and all those things. They're all scarcity driven promotions. Black Friday is a prime example of that. And the reason why Black Friday is called Black Friday is because those kinds of sales uh, take retailers from loss to profit, from red to black. That's why it's called Black Friday. Okay, the next way to intensify your offer is to pay for results only. What that means is you get the customers to pay, your customers or clients to pay only when you get them results. Now, this is easier to do, for example, if you're a consultant or a service provider, where you can say that you get paid for results you deliver rather than charging upfront. So that's a unique way to intensify your offer. Another way, the sixth way to intensify your offer is to let people try before they buy. For example, at 2000 books, you can join the Entrepreneur's Book Club for free for seven days, $0, seven day free trial, and you only pay if you like it. Otherwise you can cancel it and never pay anything. You can check it out by going to 2000books.com. And I'm not sure if this offer will last forever, but right now it is there, so you can check it out. Okay. The next way to intensify your offer is ease of business. Make it super easy to do business with you. Remove all obstacles for clients to buy from you. Super simple, one step, two step to buy from you to put their credit card so they can do business with you. Another way to intensify your offer is to play with pricing. 
test different prices. Lowest price is not always the revenue maximizer. Sometimes higher price can get you much higher revenue. Sometimes lower price can get you much higher revenue. You really have to test, 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 test. That's one of the mantras of advertising and one of the mantras of product creation. Another key, you can actually have premium pricing because that will increase the perceived value and can get you higher ROI. Again, this is something to be tested. Another key to pricing is to contrast your product price to other products or other expenses that the customer might have to incur if they don't buy your product. Or contrast your product price to the actual value they will get. Or contrast your price to make it feel like a bargain. That you, you can do all of that in different ways in your sales presentation, in your sales page, in your sales copy, on your sales call, whatever it is. And also you can offer discounts and rebates for limited time in order to get the pricing right. Another way to intensify the offer, ninth way, is uniqueness of offer. If the prospect believes they can only get a certain product or experience from you, well, the sale is made. So you have to make sure your unique selling proposition, your USP, is very clear in the mind of the prospect. It's not about your competition's USP, it's about your USP. Your product may not be unique, but your offer and your selling proposition can be unique. And that's what you need to focus on. You need to create that USP. You need to create that USP and make sure it is clear to the prospect what it is. The next way to intensify your offer is to create value and positioning, as in increase the brand value and positioning because the power of the offer multiplies as the brand value increases. Think why you pay so much more for an Apple product, for a MacBook, or for a Ferrari or a Lamborghini because the brand value is so high. Or even for a coach purse compared to a regular purse or those high-end Ferragamo shoes compared to regular leather shoes. The brand value increases and the offer product, the power of the offer multiplies. And that's where positioning becomes crucial. It's not just about the quality. It's about the category you occupy in the prospect's mind. And you have to create that position. You have to create the category in the mind of the buyer. And a great book on the topic that I highly recommend, it's by my good friend. Check it out, Play Bigger by Christopher Reeves. Highly, highly, highly recommend that book. Uh, Play Bigger, really, really amazing book. Okay, the next, the last, the bonus recommendation is the most powerful intensifier of all, and that is word of mouth marketing. It is more powerful than anything else. If someone you know recommends a product or a service, you are more likely to buy than any other intensifier out there. So as a business owner, what can you do to create uh, word of mouth awareness, well, don't leave it to chance. Incentivize your existing customers to spread the word about your product, and that's how you can get the most powerful intensifier working for you, which is word of mouth recommendation. So there we have it, 11 ways to intensify your offer. If you enjoyed these, you should definitely get this book, The Irresistible Offer by Mark Joyner. All right, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.